Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo fue tu día? ¿Cómo va tu día? How goes everything? ¿Cómo va todo? ¿Cómo va todo contigo? With you. ¿Cómo va todo con tu español? ¿No? ¿Con tus estudios? ¿Con tu práctica? ¿Todo bien? Mm -mm. Have you been... ¿Has estado practicando el español? ¿Has estado estudiando? Muy bien. Welcome to video 17 already. And uh, today we're going to talk about reflexive verbs. So we've hinted at reflexive verbs so far, especially in the last video, the must know verbs. A lot of your must know verbs are reflexive verbs. Now, what is a reflexive verb? How do they work? And everything else. That's what we're going to look at. So here's how you know it's a reflexive verb, all right? So most verbs end in AR or, um, or ER or IR, right? So verbs like hablar, comer, escribir, some of our favorite ones. Um, you know it's a reflexive verb when you're looking through 501 Spanish verbs and it ends in ARSE or ERSE or IRSE. For example, uh, bañarse, which means to bathe oneself, or I don't know, ponerse means to put yourself in some mood, um, is the way that works. We could look at it more later. Or um, even just irse, which means to go away, to leave, like to leave a bar. So there's still AR, ER, and IR verbs. But what's going on here is that we're getting this reflexive pronoun, okay? Reflexive pronoun is the equivalent of saying one's self. So think of it this way, bañar means to bathe, and bañarse means to bathe oneself. So what's the difference? Bañar is when you bathe someone or something, you bathe the dog, you know, bathe a child, give, give the dog a bath, for example, <clears throat> while bañarse, To yourself is when you bathe yourself okay so we'll see other examples um, but that's the main idea so the way it conjugates is this you're used to you know if you've been looking in 501 Spanish verbs you're used to verbs conjugating like this baño bañas baña I bathe the dog you bathe al perro he bathes the dog right bañamos bañan uh, is y'all or bañan They bathe, okay, th this is all, so far it's not reflexive. This is again, I, you, he, she, we, bathing someone or something else. Um, the reflexive pronoun is what you're gonna see uh, with every reflexive verb. So, me baño literally means I bathe myself. Te bañas, yourself, you bathe, right? Se baña, he or she takes a bath. Uh, nos bañamos, we um, take a shower. Se bañan. See, when they take a shower. See what I'm saying? Um, future tense, voy a bañar. Or actually, let's do it this way. Past, present, and future verb timeline. I bathed myself, right? It's got the past tense ending and that reflexive pronoun may is coming along with it. So me bañé, I took a shower, right? From here, just go. I took a shower last night, me bañé anoche. I took a shower this morning, me bañé. Hoy en la mañana, right? Whenever you want to you wanna say that. Uh, me baño, generally speaking, in the present tense, I take a shower every every week, you know, like every, every you know, me baño, every day, todos los días, right? Uh, me voy a bañar, me voy a bañar, is I'm going to take a shower. So, all right, I'm going to go take a shower. Me voy a bañar, right? Likewise, in the present continuous, you have me estoy bañando. So what are you doing right now? I'm in the shower. I'm taking a shower. Me estoy bañando, okay? That's the general idea of the way that reflexive verbs work. So in order to kind of just make a lesson out of this and put it to use, let's use this question. ¿Qué haces durante un día típico? means what do you do during a typical day and let's get to work so despertarse 
right? The verb is despertar, but it's a reflexive, so des uh, despertar means to wake oneself up. Here's how it conjugates in the present tense. Me, me despierto. Me despierto. I wake up. You could go into detail. You could say I wake up at I wake up at eight, for example. Me despierto a las ocho. Mm, I take a shower. Me baño. Uh, which comes from the verb bañarse. Right? Me visto. Which comes from vestirse. Which means to dress yourself. See how it's all reflexive. I dress myself. Me visto. Uh, what else can be reflexive? Me cepillo. Which means I brush myself the teeth. That's the way you say it in Spanish. Me cepillo los dientes comes from cepillarse. Me cepillo los dientes. Me peino. Me peino. Me peino. Comes from peinarse. Which means to comb yourself. So if you comb your hair or even brush your hair, I guess you could use me peino. So when you, you know, brush your hair or comb your hair, really. Me peino. Um, me voy, I leave. Okay. Um, <clears throat> later on in the day, you get home, so I return. Regreso a la casa. Now notice, I'm, th I'm throwing this one in here. This one is not re regresar. Is not. Um, it's not reflexive. Irse, me voy. Irse, that's re but regresar is not. Reflexive, that's a normal verb. So, regreso a la casa, all present tense. I come home, regreso a la casa. Um, here, just a couple more. Seno comes from cenar. Cenar is to have dinner, to dine, to have dinner. So, seno, I have dinner. Probably some other stuff you do, but we'll jump back into the reflexive. Me acuesto, me acuesto from acostarse. Me acuesto means I lay myself down. Me duermo, I fall asleep from dormirse, okay? Um, let's take these questions, or, or rather these statements, and turn them into some questions that you can have fun answering yourself. Uh, ¿A qué hora te despiertas? Notice that we're changing uh, the conjugation of despertar to the second person you form. And the reflexive pronoun comes along with this. Happens a, fa a fair amount in Spanish, right? So, a que hora te despiertas? Time do you wake up? And then go ahead and in your notebook write some answers. For example, me despierto a las ocho, wake up at nine, me despierto a las nueve, okay? Um, do you take a shower in the morning? Te bañas en, okay? So, notice te bañas. Open 501 Spanish verbs, follow along, you know. Explore. Te bañas in the morning. Te bañas en la mañana or o en la noche. All right. Yo personally, eh, me baño más, more often, más en la mañana. Yo me baño en la mañana. ¿no? ¿Y tú? ¿Te bañas en la mañana o te bañas en la noche? Okay. Um, what time do you leave? ¿A qué hora te vas? All right, me voy te vas. Check it out. Um, what time do you lay down? A que hora? It can also mean go to bed. A que hora te acuestas? And what time do you go to sleep after that? A que hora uh, te duermes? A que hora te duermes? Remember that? A uh, couple more points on this. Uh, for example, ponerse, like we mentioned before, ponerse is a very important word. It means basically means to become such and such. So me pongo, <clears throat> me pongo triste. I get, I become or get sad or I get happy. Me pongo feliz, me pongo triste, right? I get sad when I see, me pongo triste cuando veo, when I see the news or something like that, you know? May I, I get happy, me pongo feliz when I 
when I do what? When I, cuando me pongo feliz, when I drink wine. Know, cuando tomo vino, no? Or cuando tomo café. Me pongo feliz cuando, when I travel. I really like to travel. Me pongo feliz cuando viajo, verdad? Um, use 501 verbs to find the rest. Te pones, se pone. Um, there's a past tense to it, right? So I became, is me puse. Um, I got, I became sad, me puse triste. Um, or I became happy, me puse feliz, and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to do much of the, you know, the work for you. You can, you know, find out the verbs you need. But that's that's an important one within the uh, reflexive verb category. So um, trying to think if there's any other main categories or kind of subcategories uh, for your reflexive verbs. It's daily routine stuff, stuff you're doing to yourself. Ponerse to become such and such. And um, I guess there's one more I could add here. In the we form, right? Nos, for example, nos besamos. Um, so the reflexive can be reflexive between people too. Um, just, one, just one more example. So, besamos is we kissed, and nos besamos, we kissed each other. Nos abrazamos, we hugged, which is to say we hugged one another. So, just to point that out, nos can also mean one another. Um, se besaron would be the past tense of they um, kissed, or se abrazaron, they hugged. Um, and uh, so it has that reciprocal quality too. Uh, here's, here's a huge, one more huge one. Verse is the way something, I'm going to underline that. Verse is the way something looks. So me veo means I look. Therefore, if you said, como me veo, literally, how do I see myself? That would be the literal, literal translation. But if you don't think of it that way, you just say, como me veo, that means how do I look, right? Like I'm trying on some clothes. How do I look? Como me veo, right? <coughs> If you say te ves, that's you look. So you look good. Te ves, te ves bien. Te ves muy bien. Like you, you look, you look great. You look very good. Te ves muy bien. Right. Finally, se ve means uh, it looks such and such way. So you know, if something looks interesting, say you're watching the previews at a movie, and you're like, oh, that looks interesting. Se ve interesante. Right? So you could do a little writing exercise on that in your notebook. Now, look around and tell me how something looks. Like, I'm looking around right now and I see someone and, oh, he looks like a nice guy. Se ve como buen tipo y this and that. Whatever you see, just how does it look? Se ve interesante, se ve, looks normal, se ve normal, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Finally, um, nos vemos means we see each other and it just so happens that we see each other is the way to say see ya, like see you later. So with that, nos vemos and uh, see you in the next video. Hasta luego, nos vemos. Ciao, ciao.